the uh, intake. Here it is, looking all good. Really simple process. There's videos on YouTube or the um, the intake came with instructions. So just connects right here, all the way through. Um, air sensor right there. This tube, and then down into there is the intake you can't really see maybe over here it's like right there right there so it's a pretty simple process um i wanted to make this video because the intake says that you have to take off the bumper, but you don't have to do that, actually. You just need to have enough room to put this tube down there, which you should in a Lancer. And then just take off the side right here. And then uh, you can kind of just squeeze it in there. So, if you look down here, can't see, but that's where the filter is, right there. So, yeah, you don't have to take off the bumper, just just the side so just this can come out and then just pop some of these screws out that's here and then you can just squeeze it in that way so I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this this part back on and then uh, you know you should be good put this back on oh, God. so yeah that's it um that's the intake in jet if you guys haven't seen my other video the unboxing of it i'll link it in this one um you know if you're gonna put this on i should just get a hose clamp for this little hose here i had to buy this um because it just kept coming off other than that it's pretty simple install and it looks awesome, like the engine. So now the next thing is the cap back exhaust, which should be getting on um, um, in like the next three weeks or something like that. So look out for that. Basically it. Um, you know, I this is the first mod I've actually kind of done myself. So I, I'm just, you know, I was super excited to do it and. Um, you know, it was so cold outside, but I went ahead and do it because, um, you know, my classes start next week, so I'm not going to have a lot of time. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about it, just leave it in the description. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And as for the hydro shield, um, you know, that little um, bag that you put the air filter on, um, my kit actually didn't come with it, so I had to go order it. So I went ahead and ordered it. So it is on its way. Um, if you get a cold air, cold air intake, you... Um, definitely want to get one of those so um i just bought one you know from um inject so it'll be on its way i just didn't get it yet so uh yeah guys um i hope you guys like that little um video um i didn't get to do a um install video because it was so cold outside and nobody else wanted to you know hold up my camera with me so i just went ahead and did it myself and it you know it turned out pretty good pretty perfect um so, um, yeah, so as for the bumper, like I showed you guys, you don't have to take off the whole bumper. You just need to take off the side, and then you just kind of, like, like stuff it in there, and then, uh, you know, tighten the tube and stuff like that. And that's what I did, and it worked perfectly. Um, as for horsepower gains, you might not see um, a lot right now because, you know, your car has to be tuned and stuff like that. But um, as, like, I do notice when I'm on the highway, the engine noise is definitely different. Like, I took my mom to her doctor's appointment yesterday, and, like, I was revving up the car, like, 80, 90 miles per hour on the highway, and the engine noise is just, oh, my God, it's just, just, it just sounds so great. It's so, it's just pure bliss, and it's just, it's going to sound so much better once I get my, um, you know, my performance exhaust on, so I'm just, you know, waiting to get that on. Like I said, maybe in the next three weeks I'll get it on. So, um, definitely look out for that, guys. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. We appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.